show you how I do my long exposure on my iPhone. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. So we're here at the fountain, uh, we're at Jolly Riley Waterfront Park here in Charleston, and I'm going to show you. Jolly Riley. Jolly Riley, isn't that what it says? That lady's bag's in the way. Uh, Joe Riley. Joe Riley. <laughs> okay, there's a lady's bag in the way. Joe Riley Waterfront Park, and I'm going to show you how I do my long exposure on my iPhone so that you can get cool photos of like waterfalls or anything that's moving water. I, mean, I guess you can do anything that's moving. So I'm going to show you real quick how. All right, so what you're going to want to do is you're just going to open up the video or photo. You're going to make sure your live videos is on because that's what makes you can change the video type. And then you're going to take a picture, but you've got to be really still because it takes a few seconds for the picture to take so that the long exposure looks right. Then, after you take the picture, you'll go to the photo, you'll press up. At that point, you're starting to go down on me. <laughs> press up or scroll up? All right, you press the video up. It presses up, because you have to press and push up. Okay, push up. <laughs> Tell him he needs make me mess me up and then you're gonna see there's a live photo there's a loop photo there's a bounce and there's a long exposure you want to click on the long exposure when you click on it it changes the photo from live to long exposure and it makes the water look cool and that's it that's how easy it is to make a beautiful long exposure with your iPhone well I hope this little tip helps you next time you're out exploring. I did find out that if you have an iPhone 6 or better, you should have this feature. Till next time, like and subscribe.